Hey, welcome everyone. This is Mike from ZozoStockWatch.com. This is going to be your stock watch list, a little bit of market talk uh, for Thursday, the 13th of June. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the markets and the heat map. Uh, so it was kind of a quiet drift around a session. The morning was good for day traders. Uh, we do day trading and swing trading uh, in the service at Zozo Stockwatch. So uh, day trading was very nice. Uh, Blackberry gave us a nice trade uh, and a few others. Uh, we did uh, uh, take some swing trades off today uh, that had moved up nicely for us. So overall, the Dow Jones was down uh, 44 points. Uh, the uh, transports were up 48 points. The S&P 500 minus six points and the NASDAQ minus uh, 30. A uh, little bit of profit taking in an uptrend uh, market. Uh, the sharp move on the markets and a quiet pullback here. Uh, we do have a mixed market. Uh, some of the uh, healthcare sector stocks, J&J uh, &J with a nice day today, Merck up, Pfizer, a little bit of a uh, flight to uh, safety stocks here, dividend paying stocks, and a little bit of a, a pullback here in some of the tech names, Google down fractionally, Amazon down a little bit, uh, Apple uh, closing red. The banks uh, took a hit today. Uh, Wells Fargo, I think this is more related to the uh, CEO. They haven't uh, chosen a CEO yet for Wells Fargo. Uh, that stock down almost 3%, but uh, Bank America down over 1%. Citi down 1.5%. Uh, JP Morgan down 1.25%. Uh, Visa was up uh, three quarters of a percent today. So as you can see, kind of a mixed market, a uh, little bit of a selling going on uh, in the tech space uh, today. Uh, as far as earnings coming up uh, for tomorrow, uh, basically uh, AVGO Broadcom after the bell tomorrow in the semi space. Uh, as far as some of your top uh, gainers, this courtesy of the trade exchange, uh, INSY uh, popping uh, was around 18 cents, popped up to about 75 cents on this name a uh, fuel cell another under one dollar name uh, popping up uh, today uh, SYBX so uh, we actually we got a trade out of this SYBX today uh, ENT was up today beyond uh, meat uh, up today uh, they got a deal or contract uh, with uh, Tim Hortons uh, QSR is uh, the uh, symbol for Tim Hortons in Canada and uh, that is also a uh, Burger King so uh, beyond uh, meat moving up today. Uh, we also had MX getting uh, a nice push today. NNDM, VOXX, AVDL, AYX uh, moving up. To the downside, you had uh, Dave and Busters. We actually shorted uh, Dave and Busters. Uh, play is the symbol uh, on the break of 42 and the stock uh, went all the way down to $40 so a nice short there on that name CTRV uh, was down today solely uh, was down today uh, we also had uh, LRCX uh, some of the semis taking a little bit of a hit uh, today so that's some of your top 10 losers for the day courtesy of the trade exchange uh, we did get some news after the bell tonight. Some earnings came out. We'll go through them now. Uh, once again, this news courtesy of the Trade Exchange. Audio news throughout the day. Built for traders by traders. The Trade Exchange. Check out their uh, site and check out their service. Really good service. Uh, we use it every day at ZozoStockWatch.com. Uh, Lulu, earnings per share beat by three cents. Revenue beat. Uh, Lulu, comparable sales increase 14% or 16% on a constant dollar basis uh, so Lulu uh, popping here in the after hours it had closed at 170 uh, trading at 178 and grinding higher on uh, LULU uh, and they raised their uh, fiscal year 2019 earnings per share uh, guidance there so uh, good all around a uh, red um, sorry restoration uh, hardware uh, popping uh, this stock was $94 before at the close today uh, currently trading at 116 and after hours uh, you think shorts got uh, hit here I would think so leaning the wrong way on uh, restoration uh, hardware uh, they beat on all the uh, metrics they beat on earnings beat on revenue they uh, raised their guidance for 2019 on this name so uh, that one taking a big move up uh, in the after hours uh, Jagex J -A -G -X, uh, this one had recently done a 1 for 70 reverse split 
Uh, and then uh, after hours uh, in the market on uh, Jagex, uh, a file to form S1 up to uh, over 400,000 shares of common stock. Uh, that stock uh, moving down uh, in the after hours tonight on JAGX, diluting their shares. Uh, TLRD uh, had earnings after the bell tonight. Uh, that stock... Uh, Moving down, uh, kind of recovering a little bit in the after hours. They closed it at $5.54, kind of trading right around that area, $5.26. Uh, they beat by $0.06, cents. revenue beat on that name, but they are guiding lower on uh, tailored brands. All right, so that one uh, guiding lower. Uh, let's see, what else do we have as far as news? Uh, RWLK, uh, closing of a registered direct offering of five uh, million uh, priced at the market. So RWLK, let's take a look. Uh, ticking up here in the uh, after hours a little bit. Not a lot of volume in it, but uh, moving up a little bit in the after hours. NEPT had earnings after the bell uh, tonight. Uh, that stock uh, just couldn't get through $5 today, uh, kind of pulling back back here uh, into the close and in the after hours uh, so that stock uh, moving down RVLV uh, the CEO will be on uh, mad money uh, tonight RVLV uh, so that stock uh, ticking up uh, Coming into the close, it sold off. We actually traded this one uh, in the service today uh, up over $36, gave us a nice uh, move up. Uh, then some traders kept it on their watch. I caught this trade right here on RVLV, and then uh, it re-triggered again over $36, popped up even further, uh, and then uh, moved up for the rest of the day uh, on RVLV. Anyway, CEO will be on uh, Kramer's Mad Money Show. It usually starts at uh, 6 6 p.m. Uh, Eastern Time on the East Coast there for the uh, Mad Money Show. And that's some of the news from the Trade Exchange. Let's go ahead and look at some of the uh, sectors today. Oil took a big hit today. Uh, light sweet crude oil, WTI, uh, coming down to $51. Still holding above that $50 area, uh, but oil took a big hit today, down uh, 4% on the day. The USO itself was down over 4%. Uh, the OIH also uh, turned back down on the OIH, so we had to, in our service, uh, we were trying this one for a bounce. We got some money out of it, uh, and then it pulled back on us right back to the support but we're no longer in it uh, we got we took our money and uh, out of OIH for a small uh, bounce play on that uh, so uh, that reversing back down down uh, almost five percent on the day for the OIH the oil services sector such names as Schlumberger Halliburton rig uh, and uh, all moving down today uh, the SMH uh, we had a, a move up uh, the other day, back up to about the 50 SMA was rejected here. Uh, we're still in this uptrend, and we've pulled back to about the 5 EMA, still holding above that 104 uh, area on the SMH. Uh, let's see if uh, AVGO can help the uh, semis uh, tomorrow uh, with their earnings. Uh, TAN uh, moving back 2% today. Uh, First Solar, FSLR. Uh, FSLR, uh, that stock uh, moving down quite a big uh, bearish engulfing candle. So all this uh, gains here in one day uh, pretty much uh, wiped out today from uh, 64 down to uh, 59 and change here. Uh, so first solar leading the uh, solars down uh, today with oil moving down. Uh, you had uh, Sedge also uh, taking a hit. We had a swing trade going on now. We had taken uh, most of our profits off. And then we got out of the rest today on the break of uh, $55 on Sedge. And also we had a swing trade going on in VSLR. Uh, that stock uh, popped up for us. We took money off the table. And then when it rebroke, uh, you know, $7, we got back out of that. So the solar's a little bit of weakness uh, with oil coming down. Uh, let's see what else was uh, up today. Uh, we had JNUG uh, and gold up today. JNUG uh, moving up, uh, let's see, about 5-6% uh, on the day for JNUG, holding above this $8 area and some of your uh, momentum moving averages here, uh, trying to get back above the 200 uh, SMA, the green mo uh, moving average. Uh, the rare earths uh, started moving up again. Uh, China threatening to use them as a weapon in the trade war, up 1.45%. Uh, uh, the IBB 
closed green, so that's a positive sign. Uh, the IBB closing up uh, uh, 0.61% on the day for the IBB. Uh, gold itself uh, holding above uh, 125, holding above the uh, 5 EMA here on my daily chart. Uh, and gold was up uh, about half a percent for the day. Uh, let's go ahead and look at some of the uh, sectors that were making a move today. So as you can imagine, the XOP, uh, the oil and exploration was down over 3% on the day. The XLE, the energy sector, uh, down over 1%. The banks uh, took a 1% uh, hit today. Uh, after that, everything down fractionally or about half a percent. Uh, to the upside, we had the... Uh, utilities uh moving back up one over one percent on the day the xhe which is the healthcare and equipment uh, sector uh that was up one percent on the day uh looks like uh, has that eighty dollar area up ahead that it's trying to get through uh the xbi the home builders uh sorry the xbi the uh, biotechs the smaller biotechs uh were uh up uh, fractionally for the day on the XBI and uh, over in the healthcare ETF, the XLV, uh, that was up uh, a little under uh, half a percent uh, for the day. Uh, this is a list of uh, IPOs that I keep for myself. Uh, LOGC was uh, up today over fifth, about 15% on the day, a little bit under uh, a recent uh, IPO, uh, moving up beyond uh, meat, like we mentioned, uh, back above the 5 EMA here. Uh, we had JMIA, the Amazon of Africa, uh, trying to get back above the 10 SMA on this IPO. Zoom, Zoom uh, video communications, uh, nice bounce off of the 95 area and the 5 EMA. Uh, I didn't catch this one. I actually thought this one was going to pull back to about $90 and uh, I was surprised that it uh, bounced so quickly off of 95 and the 5 EMA. But a uh, nice uh, catch there by the uh, Bulls and a big move up on uh, ZM. OMST also uh, trying to turn the corner on this uh, recent IPO uh, stock uh, moving up. Let's see, when did that one? Let's look at the weekly. Yeah, so that one came out in uh, the beginning of 2019 on OMST. Uh, so that stock uh, trying to turn the corner here a little bit. So that's some of your uh, IPOs. Uh, let's see, in the marijuana sector uh, today, uh, percent that INSY. Now this was an 18 cent stock, uh, popped up to about uh, 70 cents or so today. They had declared a bankruptcy uh, protection. Uh, anyway, that stock uh, moving up today. Zyop in the uh, marijuana Marijuana ETF, the MJ, nice move up today. YGYI uh, popped up today. Uh, NEPT, like we discussed, uh, had earnings after the bell. That stock was moving down. Uh, YCBD, uh, daily chart setting up here. Uh, would like to see a little more volume come into that. So that's some of the uh, stocks in the uh, marijuana uh, sector. And then, uh, as we mentioned, some of your worst stocks uh, today. Uh, you had Play, SOLY. STNG, which is a shipper, uh, taking a tumble today. Uh, that was down uh, over 9%. First Solar, we talked about. Uh, WDC over in the uh, digital storage, uh, that was down 5-6% uh, on the day. Uh, MU uh, moving back down, down near the lows here on the daily chart. So it looks like it's coming up to a big support spot here around 32. Uh, if it breaks that, could go lower. Uh, like we said, we traded a uh, play short today on PLAY. They had earnings uh, this morning. Uh, we caught this one on the break of uh, $42 and the stock drifted all the way down to uh, $40 uh, today. Okay, so for uh, PLAY, here was the information we provided in the service play. Short break of $42, called over the microphone. It did do that. It pushed down. Uh, we also traded ZYNE. All these alerts are typed in the room prior to the trigger, called over the microphone uh, before they trigger. We also got a small trade in CRON uh, today uh, as it came up uh, over Cronus Group, or as it came up over 1705 uh, for a nice push up. We caught uh, LJPC over 1025 for a nice move up uh, today. Once again, all alerted prior to the trigger. Uh, tried CTRV. That one did not go. Took a small loss in that one. Uh, let's see. What else did we trade today? Um, let's see. There was another one. Uh, best. Uh, 
BlackBerry uh, had call activity. Uh, so we traded BlackBerry over $8.35 on BB. Uh, that stock ran all the way up to almost uh, $8.90 from our alert. Uh, that one had a call activity on the name and got it moving. Uh, let's see, what else do we trade? I think there was another one. Uh, we traded that RVLT uh, as an RVLV, sorry, uh, as we uh, mentioned at the beginning of the video. Uh, this first uh, trade over 36 for the pop. Uh, then we tried it again here for the pop. Uh, didn't catch this move here, but we got two trades out of RVLV. So that's the uh, room and uh, we also call all the alerts on the microphone and we do a uh, screen share throughout the day right now you're looking at my uh, after hours uh, screen share for the members trade ideas and we share that all throughout the day different uh, different screen shares uh, for the time of day uh, we did get the IWM uh, closing green today, which is good for the bulls, but uh, still a lot of work to do here in the IWM. Also, the IWC, uh, we've been talking about it uh, on the past videos, uh, still remains kind of in a trouble zone here, uh, holding above the 5 and the 10 uh, moving averages, but below the 20 and still below this uh, declining 200 SMA, the micro caps on the IWC. Uh, by the way, there was an IPO uh, that uh, came out uh, today, CRWD. Uh, the pricing on this was $34. It popped up to uh, 60, about $64 uh, today. And then after that, it took out this 65 area, popped up to 67. Uh, if you bought this at $67, you're not feeling too good uh, as it drove back down to about uh, $56 uh, today on CRWD, the IPO. Uh, so anyway, that came out uh, today. Uh, Tesla, uh, we talked about it on last night's uh, video. They had their annual shareholder meeting on Tesla. Uh, so uh, it was popping uh, last night and then today basically uh, from the open drifted down for the rest of the day. Still holding above that $200 number. Uh, so here was your uh, you know, your kind of V bottom here off of that 180, which we spoke about on the video uh, videos in the past. Uh, we got that bounce around 180, popped up to about 220. And on Tesla, we're still holding this uh, 5 EMA, but uh, kind of a bearish uh, candle here. Uh, we'll see what tomorrow, if it's going to give a continuation move uh, to the downside, or are they going to uh, bounce this uh, back up for Tesla. All right, let's go ahead and get into that watch list uh, for tomorrow. Uh, first one up is uh, AKTX. Uh, volume still a little bit light here, 320,000 shares. Has that 250 number up ahead. Uh, so we'll keep an eye on this one to see if they want to uh, give it another day, another push up, watching for that 250 break, and then maybe you also get some volume coming in if that happens. Uh, AVTR, also a recent IPO, bouncing here, a little bit of a chase here. Uh, we'll be watching it maybe for an intraday uh, pullback, reversal type of play, uh, maybe a red to green, something like that. Uh, Blackberry has been very strong. Full disclosure, uh, we have a swing trade going on in this name from uh, lower $8 on uh, BlackBerry. Uh, we also intraday traded it today for some nice gains. Now BlackBerry is coming up to the 200 SMA. It is a declining uh, 200 SMA. It popped up to there. Uh, notice the volume is expanding though. Uh, if they can get BlackBerry over $9, could get real interesting on this name. A lot of call activity. Even uh, John Nigerian mentioned it on the CNBC uh, halftime show today. Uh, he mentioned the uh, heavy call activity going on in BlackBerry. CAPR, uh, this one recently did a 1 for 10 uh, reverse split back on the uh, 5th of uh, June, I believe it was. Yeah, 5th of June. Uh, so this, uh, all these split stocks, reverse split stocks, you have to keep your eye on them. Uh, popping in the after hours here, closed at 375, uh, got up to 390, pulling back here. So we'll see if this one uh, wants to do anything tomorrow. 
uh, Cronus Group out of the uh, cannabis names. Uh, you know, we traded it today over 17. It's holding the 5 EMA, holding above the 50 SMA. Uh, looks okay, so we'll have it on watch uh, for tomorrow for a possible move. It looks better than CGC at the moment. APHA, not much going on there. ACB uh, in the cannabis space, not much happening there at the moment. Uh, Hexo, uh, that one kind of drifting. And VFF, uh, that one drifting back down. So out of the cannabis names that I can see, uh, this Cronus group holding up okay. The other one was uh, YCBD. Uh, this one uh, getting a little bit of volume, still light, 282,000 shares. Uh, the volume uh, on that name today, uh, the high is $6.30. Uh, if they can take out that 6.30 spot on uh, YCBD, uh, maybe it makes a move up on that uh, cannabis uh, name. Uh, FCEL, if you like playing these uh, under uh, $1 names, uh, look at this big expanding volume in FCEL, uh, popping it up. Uh, recent 1 for 12 reverse split. Uh, they did have news uh, today. Uh, they popped it on some news, but it drifted back down. So not in love with this one, but these under uh, $1 names have been moving. Uh, HEB uh, popped up today, a recent 1 for 44 reverse split, uh, but I believe... Uh, People are worried about an offering on this name, H-E-B, so drifting down uh, in the after hours. But we'll keep it on watch uh, for tomorrow. J-M-I-A uh, was perking up, has the uh, 10 SMA up ahead at 25.20. So if they can get this one over $25 on uh, this name, recent IPO, uh, we'll see if it can make a pop. N-B-Y uh, was having a lot of fits and starts today. It did bounce off the 5 EMA, uh, popped up after this big move up. So uh, watch that uh, 225 uh, area. The high today was 239. Maybe if they get it back above 225, you might get a continuation move. NVCN, uh, this one uh, had news. It was popping up on uh, NVCN. Uh, the news on it uh, for this name, uh, a uh, 13D was filed by uh, OPKO Health, a uh, 5% uh, stake uh, in this one. So there's the news there uh, from the trade exchange. Uh, so that one uh, moving up a little bit in the after hours. They popped it up. Uh, right now it's uh, hanging around 53 cents. So we'll see on that one. RVLV, uh, this one will be on watch. Uh, like I said, their CEO is on a Kramer show for tonight. We'll see if there's any kind of movement in that one tomorrow. Uh, SE uh, bouncing off the 10 SMA here, maybe a possible uh, breakout uh, candidate here if it can take out that 32 area on SE, very strong, gapped up after the earnings here, pulled back to the 20 SMA uh, and held this $30 spot. Uh, so depending on what kind of market we get tomorrow, might be one to uh, watch. SENS. Uh, this stock uh, popping, couldn't get through the $2.25 spot today, pulled back from there. Um, here's the intraday chart. It had come from uh, about uh, 205 up to that 225 spot, uh, held around the uh, 220. Uh, so keep this one on watch. I like this volume that's been coming into the stock, trying to turn back up and getting back above the 50 SMA there. SNSS, uh, one of these under uh, $1 names, a uh, 3.2 million shares has 75 cents and the 10 SMA up ahead uh, but in the after hours it's uh, popping up a little bit here so keep it on watch uh, TTOO uh, this one trying to turn the corner here, uh, over 700,000 shares, uh, has the 10 SMA, 10 SMA is currently at 172, so 175 uh, seems to be the number to watch uh, for tomorrow, kind of just drifting up all day today, uh, keep it on watch, a VTVT, uh, big strong close on this name on VTVT, uh, volume 698,000, $1.50 up ahead, uh, so keep this one on watch, maybe it wants to turn the corner too. Uh, Zyop, a very strong today, maybe looking for a red to green uh, type of move or a reversal type of play uh, where on the open it might push down and then we might take that five minute high uh, reversal play. Uh, ZS, Zscaler in the software space, uh, this one looks uh, pretty good for a possible swing trade on ZS. Once again, depending on market conditions tomorrow. Uh, ZYNE, we traded this one in the 
service today. Uh, it held the five EMA, pushed back up on this name, 2.3 million shares. Big volume came into it uh, yesterday. So ZYNE has this uh, $14 area uh, that's been resistance. You can see on my uh, five minute chart here. Uh, so we'll keep it on watch uh, for tomorrow. Uh, one last thing on the SPY uh, before I let you go. So today's volume, 46, 47 million shares. So the pullback, uh, quiet pullback here on the SPY, nothing to be too worried about at the moment. Uh, we are holding above the 50, holding above the 5 EMA on the SPY. All right, this is Mike from ZozoStockWatch.com. I hope this video has helped you. Please hit that like button so we can help our channel to grow. Hit the subscribe button if you're new to my channel to help our channel grow. In other words, help our channel grow. I think I give you straightforward information each night. And uh, this is your last video until uh, Sunday. And Sunday is Father's Day. So uh, we'll try to get a video out on Sunday uh, as best we can. Have a great rest of the week trading. This is Mike from ZozoStockWatch.com.